G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me, and you really want to know what the best composting bucket is for your kitchen? Forget the Bakashi systems with the hard to open lids and use something like this at a quarter of the price, but much more effective. Let's get stuck into it. All right, I'm sure many of you already know exactly what this is. But for those of you who don't and are not into fermenting beer or wines or other types of things, this is a typical brewer's fermenting plastic container. Usually it comes with an airlock and a hole, but you don't get the lid that has the hole in it. If you do, cover the hole or seal the hole over somehow with some tape or wax or whatever, I, I don't know, but that's what you could do. But I would recommend you just get the lid without the hole in it. Over the years, we've used heaps of different composting buckets, but we've finally settled in the last few years with this little beauty here. And it was kind of a little bit by accident, but I was always on the lookout for something better than what we were using. Yes, we've used the expensive Bakashi system, those buckets that have the little tap on the front and they're typically black, but you can get them in different colors now. You can get them clear if you want as well. And they have this peel off lid that you take the lid off and then you put your kitchen scraps in and some of them you can cover with a little bit of a mixture or a, a sawdust and that helps to break down the kitchen scraps. And then you can also use the tap to drain out any of the composting liquid and use that in the garden if you wanted to. In theory, it's a really great system. In practice, I found it to be an expensive waste of money. What I like about this compared to the Pakashi system was first of all, the lid is really easy to get on and off. You just spin it on and off. And while I've got it off, see this seal, big thick seal here? Well, they're replaceable if they ever wear out, but geez, you're gonna get many years out of it. On the Bakashi and other types of composting tubs and containers, they don't have a seal and it's got a typical push on lid. And over time, they peel up, the fermenting flies get underneath and they start laying eggs inside the composting bucket. Then you start to get an invasion of vinegar or fermenting flies around the kitchen and you don't want that. But plus it just smells and it's just annoying to get the lids on and off. This fella here, it's just got big screws. You can easily put it on and off. And it's obviously not meant for this purpose, but it does it perfectly. And if you really wanted to replicate the Bakashi system and you wanted to get that juice that gets saved up and builds up over time, we don't bother, but say you wanted to, you could attach that little tap to the front of this here and you could put the tap on there and use it exactly the same as a Bakashi. The other thing I love about this is the size. It's 15 litres. I mean, you could get a larger one, you could get a 60 litre one or so, but of course that'd be a bit too big for the kitchen. But what I found with lots of other composting buckets on the market is they're too small. We grow most of all our own food and so we get lots of scraps that if we can't feed to the chickens and are not appropriate for the chickens or say the chickens have had enough we'll just throw it here in the compost bucket and there's plenty that we can jam in instead of having to try to crush it in in this smaller composting bucket and then having to do several trips uh, a week down to the compost pile or the tumbler instead this can last us for a week or two depending on how much scraps we're putting in there but uh, it could last for a long time. Being such a good seal, like I was saying before, it doesn't stink. So it doesn't really matter how long you have this sitting in the kitchen. The other thing I do like about it is it's very robust. It's really robust and it's easy to carry. You can either carry it like that or you can just pick it up by the lid. That's how it's designed for fermenters and brewers. You know, it's a really good hardy vessel to keep your compost in. The other thing is it looks quite good and it's not totally see-through, so it's not a real eyesore, but it's see-through enough that you can tell when the thing's getting full. By having a bit, of a bit of a bay peep at it, oh yeah, she's pretty full, plan ahead. I'll empty this out into the compost pile or into the tumbler and uh, there'll be plenty of space for scraps 
dinner tonight. It's also really easy to clean out. And that's it. And the final thing I want to mention about this particular composting idea and composting bucket is the fact that it's very affordable. Some composting buckets are really ridiculously priced. You know, they and plus then you've got to keep buying the additives that go over the top that keep breaking the compost down. I think unless you live in a high-rise apartment, there's no need to have a kitchen composting system where you break it down almost and have the composter in your kitchen itself. You don't need to buy the extra additives and the extra sawdust and mixtures to help break down the kitchen scraps. That's what your compost bin is for, your tumbler or your composting piles are for, or even throwing them straight into the vegetable garden and burying them for a number of months even works in itself. These retail for around 30 bucks, if that, and you're gonna get many, many years service out of it. And say something does go awry, the seal needs replacing, but well, you can replace it. Even the whole lid, it gets buggered and, or for some reason, the car runs over it, I don't know. Well, just replace the lid. Where can you get these things? Well, of course you can get them from brewing shops. They sell them everywhere, they're very popular, or get them online through eBay or Amazon, and I'll have some links below for you to check out. Well, there you go. That's my recommendation for a compost bucket. Simple, effective, and cheap. Thanks a lot for watching. If you've got any questions, whack them down below. Don't forget to subscribe if it's your first time here and give a big thumbs up. Bye for now. Now I'm gonna empty it.